Hi, my name is Matt. I'm from Chesapeake and Midlandic Marketing. Came across a great idea today um, that was presented by Steve Pennington, one of the partners at Chesapeake and Midlandic Marketing. And it was uh, to solve a problem that we have. And my guess is you might be either presented with that problem today, uh, if not today, then likely tomorrow. As an end user, you want to be able to see a 360 camera from its normal mounting position, which would be from like a ceiling. Um, you also might want to use the camera as a 180 camera where it's mounted to a wall. The challenge is, how do you demo this? If you're a security dealer, how do you provide this for your customer um, without having to stand there and hold the camera? Perhaps you're going to provide that camera to the end user, let them uh, use it for an extended period of time. How do you make this easy? So Steve had this great idea. Let's take a microphone boom stand and modify it to be able to mount a panoramic 360 camera to it. Um, and so that's what I want to present to you. It was a great idea. So what we did was we took a mic stand that we got from Guitar Center. You can probably get it just about anywhere. Um, in this case, it was called a Musician's Gear uh, Tripod Microphone Boom Stand. Um, we also have our Bosch 360 degree camera. In this case, it's a 7000 series. Um, you're going to need about 20 Velcro straps for cable management. Um, there's a 25 foot Ethernet cable. Um, you might want to get one a little shorter, a little longer. It depends how far away the camera is going to be from your network switch. You'll need a, um, a, ga a two gang box, a uh, 90 degree conduit cut in half to be a 45 degree. What I found is if you go to the normal um, Lowe's, Home Depot, they don't have a 45 degree uh, conduit um, bent, so you'll have to cut one in half and make a 45 degree, or if you're handy, perhaps you can make your own. Um, you also need some conduit connectors, a, um, a couple uh, half inch lock nuts, um, some black spray paint to make it look nice, and uh, again, the mic stand. So what you want to do is assemble all of these pieces um, as far as the conduit into the, into the two gang box. Uh, at that point, you're going to want to probably spray paint the thing, make it a look a little bit nicer. Once it's spray painted, let it dry. Uh, then we're going to take the mounting ring that comes with the camera. We're going to attach that to the two gang box. So now that's what the camera's going to attach to. So in our case, we kind of put it up on its side. Uh, I had Nick helping me. We he could have done it by himself, but there was two of us there. Uh, take the camera, click it into the mounting ring, which is, as I said, attached to the two gang box. Uh, at that point, you can slide the end of the conduit onto the, the mic boom stand. And it just so happens that this thing fits on nice and snug. Now, you might be able to find some other parts that would make this a little bit better as far as um, screwing it down to the uh, boom, um, but in our case, we want to be able to remove this thing, so we just got it, uh, and it, and it happens to be tight enough to just slide onto there, no problem. Uh, at that point, then, we will take the, um, the cables, clean them up with some um, Velcro wire ties. That also helps to um, provide a little security as far as this uh, rig not coming off the end of the, of the boom. Um, once all of our Velcro is, is connected, um, you can see that uh, now what we're able to see is um, a, a 360 degree image, whether that's from a ceiling type uh, position or from a wall mount position. Um, and that, uh, that's really the trick. And hopefully this will be helpful for you. If you have any questions, you can always reach us at our website. Thanks. Have a great day.